whoever came up with that soundtrack need a raise though because even though there's no real music playing it does set a, like a real good tone and mood for the scene yeah so let me let me drop you off at the cut no 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 i know what you finna do you go sit up here and let them thoughts feast like maggots on your dome and get you down and nigga i ain't gonna let you get down nigga, just, right? just, just tell me where you want me to fucking take you and you ain't taking me no fucking way if you don't want to go home to get the fuck out the car no nigga i'm gonna sit right here with your weak ass till the sun come up get out the car little murder Man, you got to pull me the fuck come out get, get the fuck out the car murder knew something was going on Nigga, tonight I'm, I'm going from the dark to the light. T, please, please just give me the peace. I wish I could. Be tired. I can't lie, I tell myself that a lot too. That's one reason why, you know, the last time I wanted to kill myself, I really ain't even do it. Because I'm like, hey, something gonna kill you anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You might as well just thug it out. Okay, houses to buy, dreams to build, babies to make, nigga. We got each other, nigga. And tomorrow, you finna go on tour with me. And that's that, I don't give a fuck what we say. We finna be outside like a motherfucker. I owe you that. You owe me nothing. But nigga, I owe you my life. But there ain't no more life. Yes, it is. I can't see it. I see it. I see it for you, nigga. I see it. Mm. My life's gone. Now my light is gone, man. Damn, I can imagine most people who, you know, made decisions to off they self, delete they self, they probably thinking that same thing. My light is gone. I can't see a reason to keep going. I used to feel that way myself. That when I was, you know, had my suicidal thoughts, you know, at like 11, 12 years old, I tried to commit suicide. I felt the same way. Baby boy. Stick it with him to the end. <laughs> I ain't going no fucking way. Each be each. Life on. Life. And shout out to the dudes that play Big T and Murder for playing the hell out of this role right here. For playing the hell out of this scene. Because this was very intense and emotional, man. Especially with Lil Murder saying, I see it for you, nigga. I see it. Like, he really wanted his homie to be here. He really trying to make a way for them to enjoy life, man. And it's sad because it's like a situation that really happened to me in real life. Besides the gay shit. You know, I got a big cousin, rest in peace, Junior. You no, know, way back in the day, we started to rap shit. I wanted to get big, man. So one day, me and cuz, we can live a good life. Like, I even used to tell them, like, man, we're gonna run a checkup. We're gonna go to Florida, you know, get some nice cars, get a nice little apartment, a house or something, and we're gonna raise families together, man. But we gotta run that checkup, and I'm trying the best I can to get there through the music and whatever I can. He was doing other things. He was jacking. You know, he didn't kill himself, but he lost his light because he couldn't get to the money fast enough to support his family and end up getting killed in the streets, man. Doing mission after mission, 
robbery after robbery on one of the robberies his so-called homie set him up and end up getting him killed man i kind of feel like he was like big t he had lost his light last time i seen him it was damn near like that man i'm talking about we in the car together just talking he telling me to take care of his siblings look after them and I do, I do try to look out them as much as I could through social media because I can't do it through no other means. You know, I tried to reach out to them from time to time, but they doing their own thing. <laughs> and Cuz just knew he went finna come back from this dark hole that he was about to go down. He was about to step into that darkness because he ain't see the light no more. He was basically telling me that then, sitting in the car together. And so there's multiple ways people can kill themselves, man. You ain't got to put a gun to your head to kill yourself. You can go out here and take risks with your life and your freedom because you have to. And doing it, it's like it's, it kills a part of you because it's like it reduces you down to this act. So shout out to P-Valley again, man, for giving us these actors, showcasing their raw talents, spreading awareness to suicide and how mental health is in the hood because you can look at it like that. This is like awareness, man, because like they say, Big T, his character is based off somebody in real life. And that's how it get coming up out of them environments, man. You just feel tired. You lose your way. You lose your light. You got people like Lil Murder. They try to see, see the light for you, but it just ain't enough. You got people like me trying to see the light for my big cousin, and the shit wasn't enough. So shout out to all the Lil Murders and the Big Teaks all across the nation, man. Besides the gay shit. I might buy your book.